Hello fellow estheticians. Um, today we are talking about diamond tip microdermabrasion machine and a treatment too, obviously. So um, this is going to be a good instructional video because a lot of you are asking me questions about microdermabrasion, uh, diamond tip microdermabrasion, how to operate it, what else should come with it. So let's talk a little bit about all of that. Um, this is one of my favorite treatments. You know, I love this machine, but diamond tip microdermabrasion, I think, um, is a, an excellent addition nowadays to any facial. Well, obviously, you know, we have to look for um, uh, sensitivity of the skin and, and so on. But in general, for a good facial, you know, stagnation, um, uh, buildup of dead skin, uh, when we have to do extractions, you know, preparation, uh, pigmentation, um, anti-aging, most of uh, the conditions that we work on are definitely uh, could benefit from microdermabrasion or diamond tip microdermabrasion. Okay. Now I love this machine in particular because it's very, very simple. Um, it's a one function machine. So it basically just does that. It just does microdermabrasion. And um, the only thing is that uh, what's hidden in here that most of us don't know when they buy this machine because it doesn't talk about it, it actually has two attachments, if you see. So one of them is for the actual microdermabrasion, okay? So it's suction. Uh, and the other one does the opposite. So they don't include anything, you know, manufacturers, sometimes they do weird things. Uh, but uh, they don't include anything for this but this is does the opposite this would work excellent for uh, the the uh, the spray the mist okay so if you do have a mist let's say you have a bottle and I'm gonna just pull it from my um, eight in one machine so if you do have uh, a spray mist you can use it with this machine okay like let's say a lot of us have extras you can definitely I'm gonna quickly turn it on just to show you that this little hidden option that they don't talk about uh, it's not in the manual it's not anywhere but it's but it's here okay you see you can actually use a spray mist which is very beneficial afterwards when you want to uh, balance the pH and so on it's there for you so that's what it's for uh, the other one is obviously for microdermabrasion now let's talk about what's on the machine so you have the vacuum meter right this is where you um, control the intensity of the suction and um, we'll talk about in a little bit how to do that and that's it and you have your your pause your start um, it's very very simple that's all you get for it now you also get the actual uh, kit the diamond tip kit and this is what's in it you get your nine tips microdermabrasion tips you can and you also get three ones okay now this is how it comes you also get a bag of filters okay this bag of filters each filter you change after five to six clients and i always say it depends on um, how much dead skin you accumulate um you honestly just just a tip out there some can disagree with me but you don't have to throw them away you can actually wash them they're super cheap so if you want to throw it away but i just get that question what do you you know do you throw them away do you not just in case you can wash them wash them thoroughly with uh, antibacterial soap you know you can dry them you can sanitize them you can soak them in cavicide if you want to then rinse them again and dry them maybe just keep a bag of uh, used ones clean ones in case you run out and you don't have any okay so you don't necessarily have to throw them away but they are considered disposable now so this is what you get you change them i'll show you how to insert it you change them after five to six clients all right uh, that's a general information now um you get your two hoses here all right and 
three ones. Now let's talk about the, the actual tips. Every tip has a number on it. Let me see if I can actually, if you can see, you can kind of see it has a number, like this one has 75. And this is how it goes. Um, the higher the number, the finer the grit. The lower the number, the coarser the grit, okay? The highest number here on this kit, at least, um, is uh, 150, okay? So that means that the grit here of the um, uh, crystal powder is very, very fine. It's very fine, okay? So let me see if you guys, eh, let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see that number. Uh, but in either case, when you get the machine, when you purchase the machine, and you can tell that this is very fine, you can feel it, okay? Versus some of them, uh, you get more shine, you can tell that they're uh, coarser, they're coarser. Now they also vary in sizes. And uh, uh, there is obviously a difference. Size means that the area, it depends on the area you're working on, like these two little ones, this one, for example, is designed to use around the, the eyes, okay? Because understand that the larger the opening, the more suction you get. So that means the more dangerous it is, okay? For you to uh, make a mistake in the sense of, you know, create too much suction and um, cause, um, cause a bruise. So you gotta be careful. I love these little ones even though this one, for example, is designed for the eyes and this one is um, designed for uh, the nose, I can, I can do both. Both of them can be used around the eyes. It all depends. You know, it depends on the size of the face, size of the area. Uh, some noses are larger, some noses are smaller. So these two can, you, can be used around the smaller areas. Then you have um, the larger ones, like these three, are great to use all over the face okay these two larger ones are forehead some cheeks sometimes on the men like beards you know you can use these two and obviously the largest ones are for the body like the back treatment if you're doing a back treatment I've even um, had some of my fellow estheticians that are using it on um, on the bikini area or uh, elbows you know, anywhere where we are dealing with crusty skin or crust or pigmentation uh, or any buildup of uh, dry, dead skin. Now, so this is, this is our kit, all right? This is what you get with your machine um, and filters we talked about. So pretty much that's it. So now you just um, go ahead and pick any one, they're all the same, so the ones are all the same. Um, what you can do in the treatment, if you know you're gonna have to do uh, your three passes with different tips, you can go ahead and prepare all three ones with different tips so they're ready for you to use, and just leave them there. And whenever you need, you're just switching the wand without actually having to unscrew the tip, change the filter and so on so you would be just you know getting the wand out and putting the new one in with the tip already and the filter in it so you can do that that just saves you time now um, let me just turn the machine for an, off for a minute okay so I just inserted the one into the other end of the hose right the first one end goes into the machine very easy you just push it in be gentle just push it in just like that it's super easy when you push it out also be gentle you just pull it out and push it back in that's it all the way until you can't go no more all right here the same thing you just push it gently push it in all the way in okay now after that you have to take out the filter and that's what I'm doing I'm going to take the filter out one just one the filter obviously protects the dead skin to go into the hose um, it protects from the moisture if there's any moisture to go into the machine and clog the machine 
uh, because moisture is not welcome in the machine. Okay, and I did ask that question. So let's pick any, let's just take, um, this is a medium coarse. I'm going to gently, okay, so just gently, so you don't knock the filter off, just gently cover it and screw it in there. Okay, nice and tight. There you go, it should be nice and tight. So when you screw, you see how you see the rubber here? Okay, when you screw it in all the way until you can't see the rubber anymore. That's it. Okay, you see on the inside there's a filter. There you go. This is the proper way to um, set up your wand and be ready to do a service, a microtubulation treatment. Now, that's that. When you turn the machine on, how do you know what, um, let me see if I can do it this way. How do you know what suction is appropriate for your client's face? Again, you can always check on your, on yourself. If it feels too uncomfortable to you, it's going to be uncomfortable for a client. So you always want to start low. Okay, low on this machine would be under 20. I'm going to try it on myself, under 20. Anything under 20 is a good setting to start. Again, this is a general information, guys. You have to try, you know your client's skin. You have to try it. The good area to try would be either on their body or um, on the forehead, somewhere at the hairline. Okay, somewhere at the hairline. Now, um, once you know the proper setting, so this is how I know. The skin should not turn red immediately. Okay, I shouldn't have too much resistance um, when I am sliding and stroking over the skin. Okay. So, but I should feel some, a little bit of resistance, and I should feel some suction. I should see maybe pink, okay, or nothing. Maybe pink or nothing. I should not see redness. That's not a good sign. Some clients like aggressive, and they will tell, oh, you can go ahead and turn it up a little bit. Don't. Just don't. Uh, follow your gut feeling, okay? Uh, monitor the skin. And uh, redness, the signs of redness are very important signs, right? Because the one thing you don't want, that you don't want to bruise the skin and you don't want to overstimulate the skin. Because after microderm, there are probably another five to six steps that you have to do uh, to complete the treatment. So if you already have stimulated blood circulation to where you can't do anything else, you know, those five to six steps are definitely going to overstimulate the skin. And then we know what happens when we overstimulate the skin. Breakouts, um, not necessarily right after the facial. In about within the 48 hours, a client can call you and say, hey, I'm breaking out. That could be from uh, too much of uh, aggressive uh, microdermabrasion treatment. So everything in moderation. Okay, don't rush to do, um, to to uh, be aggressive with this thing, okay? More is not better. Now, so that's all you're doing. You're pretty much controlling. So what I do is I close my finger. When I close my finger, the bar goes up. And that's how I know when I adjust it, the finger is on, okay? My finger is on. And then I adjust whether I go down or up. So it's either my finger or, so if it feels fine and comfortable to my finger, the next text, test is going to be on my client's skin. Um, and um, then when everything is set, my pressure is set and I'm ready to start, okay? Now, when do we do, I'm going to just turn it off for a minute and just talk about the microdermabrasion treatment. Um, there is definitely a 
book that we go by there are certain rules that we have to follow and at the same time uh, there's practice practice sometimes shows different meaning that there are exceptions in certain cases um, I uh, you know in my practice of now over 18 years in this industry I've definitely learned to love diamond um, my diamond tip microdermabrasion and I see that um, sometimes I can't go against the bulk and, and do and push the skin and do a little more uh, or work in the areas where the book would not allow me to do okay so uh, of course I have to remember the rules and go by the book but at times uh, you can uh, go against the rules and I'm going to cover as much as I can in today's video so um, we will go ahead and proceed to the actual procedure that's going to be a part two so stay tuned we will come back